One of the things that you need to know about Reebok is that we really got our start as a big global brand by focusing on women. We were the first company to launch a women's only fitness shoe called the Freestyle. We've always been about making her feel comfortable working out, sweating, have muscles. And so today we're just emphasizing that point with a new campaign that's really through our Be More Human message, encouraging her through some really powerful voices to get out there and be active because it can be a gateway to a better life socially, cognitively, and, and so many other ways. Got to ask you, Matt, your parent company, Adidas, arch rival Nike, Nike went through a scandal this year internally that raised some questions about its corporate culture, a bro culture that wasn't necessarily friendly toward promoting women. Have you capitalized on this as the footwear choice you're positioning yourself for women? Well, I think we have to look at this whole conversation as an opportunity for us. And certainly we take the idea of inclusion and diversity very seriously at Reebok. And our goal during this has been to make sure that we're doing everything to make our employees comfortable and safe in our environment, but also to really emphasize what we've been doing for many years, and that is deliver a message that empowers her and allows her to take advantage of this opportunity. Matt, I wanted to ask you what your commitment these days is to soccer. I mean, in my childhood in the UK, Reebok was, was everywhere uh, across that sport, but we just had the World Cup and, and almost nowhere to be seen. Yeah, that's a great question. A few years ago, we really redoubled our efforts and focused ourselves on our roots in fitness. And so for the last few years, we've been focused on fitness and training. We've left behind a lot of the team sports categories to our brother brand, Adidas, and this focus is allowing us to really have a steady stream of new products that deliver against what our consumers are looking for for their fitness needs. Matt, you mentioned uh, sort of the long history Reebok has uh, in catering to women, originally seen as a women's brand. But do you worry at all that there's a risk in this campaign of seeming as if you're just kind of engaging on what is now a very front and center kind of uh, trendy approach to consumer marketing, even though you do have uh, that legacy? Yeah, I think that's a really important point, though. The legacy of consistently speaking to her over the years. Um, we had a tagline many years ago that life is not a spectator sport. And the idea behind that was simply that we are encouraging people to move. It's not just about the performance of elite athletes. It's about everybody moving. And if you do move, mm -hmm. you're going to have whole kinds of other benefits in terms of the rest of your life. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.